Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be discussing a controversial topic regarding the ticking noises that you would hear on a normal Porsche. Now, there is a lot of different opinions based on the engine ticking, and a lot of people get confused between whether it's bore score, whether it's a hydraulic lifter, or whether the ticking is coming from something else, i.e., you know, um, rod bearing wear, where it's cutting into the crankshaft because nobody's aware of the kind of ticking or knocking noise that is actually coming from their Porsche. Now, obviously, I don't want to keep this video too long because obviously, like I'm going to say here, I'm very new to the Porsche world and everything I know, and from what I know from owning my Porsche Boxster, which does this exact same thing, I've come to find out this is a normal common trait with these cars. Now, if you do own a 3.2 engine, they don't suffer bore score. Yes, they can suffer rod bearing failure. That's if the car had been tracked and you didn't know the history of the car, but it's very, very unlikely. That ticking noise you're hearing is usually, basically, um, where it's to do with low oil pressure um, once the engine is warm, and obviously once you're sitting idle um, and leaving it in park or out of gear, because it does it even on manual cars, you'll hear a very loud, like, kind of ticking noise. And now many people will confuse that for the injectors. Many people will get confused for bore score. But this ticking is not constantly there when the revs are up. It's only there when the revs come down to, say, about 800 RPM, 900 RPM. The ticking sound is there. Now, there is a few ways to actually solve that from what I believe. The first one is obviously taking off your oil sump. Um, cover and obviously checking the pickup pipe to make sure there's nothing clogged inside there. A lot of people do that and to no avail and a ticking still exists. Now you are getting a lot of people who are buying boxsters, whether it be the 986 or the 987s, the 3.2 ones, and all of these cars make a ticking sound. My friend bought a 986 Boxster, his makes the same exact ticking sound that my one does on idle once it's warm as well, regardless when it's in park. When you pull it in drive and it's got weight, um, where the torque converter engages, it stops the ticking sound. Now, a lot of people do believe as well, it's chain snatch, which is where the chain snatches the moment you pull it into gear. Um, and obviously it's got a little bit of slack in it between the sprockets and the chain, which causes the ticking also. But there's a lot of people who believe it's to do with low oil pressure when these cars are warm as well, and there's just nothing you can do. Because you, as you guys know, these are sports cars. They're not really made to be sitting idle. They're made to be driven and therefore, a lot of people start tearing their whole engine apart, hoping it's gonna solve the issue. And there is many, many people, if you look online, um, many companies as well, where they've literally overhauled the whole engine based on this ticking noise, found the hydraulic lifters to be good, found everything to be good, to only end up with the car still ticking when they rebuild the engine and pull it all back together. There was no scoring, there was nothing. Now, scoring has a very, very distinctive tick, and it's not even a tick, it's a knock and it's called basically piston slap, and basically that will constantly make a ticking sound no matter whether it's cold or warm. It's exactly like 997 was doing, it was making a very loud ticking noise, and you knew straight away it was bore score because it would do it whether cold, hot, and you'd be losing oil. The one crucial thing to these cars, if your car is ticking, is to make sure your oil consumption isn't going down. If your oil consumption isn't going down, the ticking is disappearing when it's revved, there's nothing to worry about. The ticking is caused due to low oil pressure just based on these engines because of the way they sit. Many of you guys know these engines sit flat, so therefore, obviously, it's gonna struggle to get oil pressure due to the engine being a flat six engine. Now, there is ways you can actually rectify that. Some people have tried replacing the spring in the oil pump itself. As many of you guys know, there's a spring inside there, and that wears down over time, so when it starts wearing down and becoming looser and looser, it doesn't hold the oil pressure correctly. You can change that spring, it's very, very cheap to buy. Um, you'll probably see many people on YouTube have already changed it as well, and obviously the oil pump is obviously driven as well by a plastic gear. Um, they can break off, become very brittle and whatever else. So it is worth taking your oil pump off and changing that. If you can get to it, obviously on the box, this is not so simple. On a 997, it's not so simple either. But if you have got the engine out, it is worth to check all that and change that before you put the engine back in. But as I said to you, if it's a hydraulic lifter tick, as many of you guys know, it will only do it when cold and once warm, it will disappear. Many, many people will try and use addictives in their car, you, you know, go crazy trying to pull the car apart, trying to find that ticking noise. 
And now if you do remember the old school Porsches when they were building for race cars, they all used to make that same noise, especially because they used to use a light flywheel. And if you go back based on the older cars, the proper track 911 cars, they all too had a ticking noise, which was the same kind of thing for low oil pressure because they had a light flywheel um, and it was perfectly normal. Nobody was concerned about it. But obviously because of the bore scoring issue has been so overplayed and obviously it's a very big problem. People get boxers and instantly think that they've got a bore scoring issue. If you haven't got the 3.4 engine, it's very, very, very unlikely you're gonna have bore score. The one thing you will notice if you have bore score is one, to get your bore scoped. Two, to just watch your oil consumption. If your oil is not moving between oil changes and it is not going down, you do not have a bore score problem. Let me tell you now, you would know if you had a bore score issue. The 997 would drink literally four liters of oil, if not more, within 50 miles, and that was serious. That's how we knew that I had bore score. Um, that was a bore scored engine. If you are not having that kind of extreme oil consumption, you're not losing oil between oil changes, which my Boxster isn't either. My Boxster has the same exact ticking noise, but only when it's idling and once the car is fully warmed up. My friend's Boxster 986 is the same thing and his is a manual. If you leave it in neutral once it's warmed up, while it's just idling, it makes a ticking sound, but once you're driving, it's perfectly fine. There is a lot of people on YouTube buying Porsches, especially the Boxsters, and because obviously they're very, very great sports car and a bargain value sports car, the best bargain value sports car you can buy for, you know, just sub of 20 grand, and 10 to 15 grand, you can buy one of them. And they offer a lot for the money, probably the best handling sport road start on the road you can buy and you know you've got to remember it's a luxury sports car as well so you're getting the best bang for your buck as well so a lot of people are getting these at the moment worrying about that ticking sound and there is nothing to actually worry about it's very very normal for these to actually tick on low oil pressure so if you do have that issue do not worry about it it's very very common for these to be ticking like i say do not warm them up these are not meant to be warmed up these are made to be driven straight away not sitting there at idle not letting them warm up get in drive it keep the revs low below 3000 rpm until the car fully warms up and just drive it do not sit there idling in these cars these cars are not made to idle and this is why a lot of the issues come around from bore scoring because people just sit there and let their cars idle that is no good for the engine that's no good for the internals either it's no good for nothing on the car whatsoever that's how bore scoring starts going on as well by people idling the car from cold start just drive straight off and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of money these cars are not made to sit around these cars if you're going to let them idle and just keep sitting there letting them idle fun these cars are really really not for you because and if you can't deal with the ticking then sell it to someone who actually understands them because the ticking is very very normal on these and there's no getting away from it. I thought there would be, like I said, but my friend purchased a 986. His is a 2004 and his does exactly the same thing. He's got the same engine I have underneath my 987 and his one does exactly the same thing and even though it's manual, it gives him no issues whatsoever, the same as my one. So if you do have that issue, guys, that is the main common cause of why they tick. It is due to low oil pressure um, when they're actually warmed up and on idle. Just drive the thing and everything will be okay. Your engine is not going to grenade and it's not going to blow up. So thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.